Hey, what's up guys? It's JKK Tag, and today we're back at it again with the updated 2.9 Minor Poison deck. Actually, this deck is 2.8, so it's even faster and quicker, but you're not gonna have the Electro Wizard, you're gonna have a faster cycle with the Skeletons and the Bats and the Ice Golem and Royal Ghost. This deck comes in clutch against Royal Giant and Royal Hog decks because you're able to use Royal Ghost plus Log Inferno Tower. Royal Hog shouldn't really break through. And then also the Inferno Tower is way better against Royal Giant because its range is significantly decreased. So the Inferno Tower will always be able to hit it. This is one of the best decks for Grand Challenges and one of my favorite Minor Poison decks in the game right now. So check it out and let me know how it ends up working for you down below in the comment section. So I'm gonna go for Skeletons in the back and we're gonna see what So2 wants to do. I'm gonna go for an Ice Golem. He's gonna go for a Zap. He misses one of the Skeletons, guys. Here we go. I'm telling you, there's a chance. The little Larry, he is endeavoring to the right hand side. Oh, never mind. Larry is not making it to the tower, guys. He had big dreams, big aspirations in life, but they did not come to fruition. I'm going to have to sauce out a log here. Ice Gloom is actually really not going to accomplish too much. I have to go in for bats, and then I also want to go pull opposite lane with skeletons. So, do not have to deal with that Mega Minion. It's going to go arrow that. Very weird arrow, honestly. I'm not a huge fan of that play. Might have to go kite the Mega Minion opposite lane again. Oh my god, what are those? It's a Sparky, guys. I'm going to go for Inferno Tower. I can't use a uh, Ice Golem here. I, I can't justify it. I have to sacrifice the Ice Golem on top of the Sparky, I believe. Uh, do I want to? I want to keep the Inferno Tower healthy. I still have it on the map. Might as well keep it healthy, right? Goodbye, Sparky. Good night. This guy's got Skarmy. Very interesting composition. I'm going to end up going for a Bats. I want to go for an Inside Miner in a safe spot. And he's gonna zap it, okay. Scar me, yeah, I should've pre-logged. It's okay though. The Inferno Tower is still alive, so I am gonna get utility. I would've had to drop an Ice Golem to kite that off as a lane, so just making sure that the Inferno Tower is still alive is definitely well worth it. I'm gonna go in for Rogue Ghost. Rogue Ghost should be able to slaughter all of the goblins. Skeletons did not get hit by the arrows, thankfully for us. He also did arrows, so he's not gonna be back to Scar me. He doesn't have a fast cycle like I do, so I'm back to Miner before he gets back to Scar me. Goes in for a zap, that's a lot of damage for us. 500 damage if he just ignores that. I guess he's ignoring the right-hand side as well, so. What a savage. Holy crap. We are up a lot. I'm going to go in for an Ice Golem here. The one difficulty is you're running a Minor Poison deck without Zaps. So there's no great way to reset it. Also, this is like another Minor Poison deck without Electro Wizard too. So this is effectively a Minor Poison deck without the training wheels. There's a lot of stuff going on in this. So at least against Sparky, it's more difficult. I'm going to go in for a Poison. I'm going to go for a Skeleton Surround. And hopefully we can make it happen. I think he's probably going for a zap on top of the skeletons. But guys, yeah, we're defending the virginity. Not too much is going to happen here. Oh, no, he's going to get a hit, maybe? No, nah, not quite. He did not break through. We defended the virginity, as I said before. Definitely want to go in for another miner. Going to go for a pre-poison. He's probably going to drop scar me. Didn't do it, but we're definitely going to hit the sparky, so I'm about it. I can cycle two poisons on the sparky. Let's do it. Let's do it up, boys. This is minor poison without the training wheels. We don't need no training wheels out here, boys. I'm going to go in for a Inferno Tower. I'm going to go for a Rogue Ghost. And Rogue Ghost should be able to knock it down. Didn't actually need to do anything. I don't know. The Sparky just ended up dying. I'm going to go in for another sequence of Miner. I'm going to go for Skeletons to make sure that we pull the Skill Horde. And then, uh, yeah, the Skill Horde is not breaking through. So we will win this game. Going in for another Miner. The Pre-Poison of Justice. Going in for a Log. No, I don't want to go for a Log. I want to be in a little bit more control, a little bit more control in this game. If I get a... Yeah, there's just no way that I want to lose for no reason. GG, well played and peace out, Girl Scout. I wanted to make sure that I had an answer to Barrel. If he went for uh, Giant plus Barrel, I, I didn't want to lose the game off of that. GG and well played, sir. All right, guys, we got a game against Tiffany28. We're saucing out of good luck. I'm going to go for Skeletons in the back here. Let's see what Tiffany wants to do. I'm actually going to go in for an Ice Golem in the lane with the majority of the Goblin Gang. And then I want to go and supplement this Ice Golem with a Royal Ghost. So they're going to have Hunter. They're going to have Goblin Gang. Don't really know what this is. Hunter and Goblin Gang, huh. Usually you don't see that combination. I'm gonna go for a Miner here. So it's gonna be Hunter, Goblin Gang with Bait. Very interesting premise here. Miner's gonna be coming in clutch and they're gonna actually end up having a Hunter with Prince. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go for Skeletons just to make sure the Prince Charge dies. And it looks like I probably wanna go in for an Ice Golem. I can probably kite the Hunter, right? If you guys didn't know that, you can kite the Hunter. Instead of going like same lane as the Hunter or dropping the Ice Golem and it will die to the Hunter, you can kite it off his lane. So that's something that's really, really cool. If you just get the range correctly, it works out beautifully. I'm going to go for Rogue Ghost right on top of the uh, Goblin Giant. Make sure the Goblin Giant gets lit up. Can't really sauce out a log. I'm getting a lot of damage, so I'm just going to go for a Poison. 
Really want to save the log for the goblin barrel. And I know that, yeah, the goblin giant's getting damaged, but it's kind of inconsequential. It doesn't really matter too much to me. As long as I get a nice golem down and make sure that the stab goblins don't get on top of me, we're fine. We're thriving. Saving the log for the goblin barrel every single time. I'm going to go in for another miner, and I'm going to get ready and ready to go with another poison. Just want to make sure I'm at six elixir. And it looks like Tiffany is aborted the mission, guys. So because we allocated our elixir properly, we gave no holes for any type of aggression with the Goblin Barrel. It kind of just gave up because, you know, Minor Poison just wins against Log Bait every single time. As long as you are efficient with your logs and you don't cycle it aimlessly, you're usually just going to win the game. So I'm going to go for a Miner and I'm going to try to just 3-crown. It looks like maybe they got a disconnect or something. I thought they gave up, but apparently not. They are still very much in this game. Uh, certified Savage Alert. I'm going to have to go in for an Inferno Tower. I'm also going to go in for Skeletons here. I can also log that back if I really, really wanted to. That is further back. You can look at the shadow and see how distorted it is. Well, it's not too far back, but it was further back. I'm also going to go for a Poison here because I kind of have to. That's a lot of Elixir that has been spammed at me. A little bit sketchy, a little bit scary. The Prince almost gets a hit, but not quite. I'm going to go in for another Miner, and it looks like the, the Bats are just going to be ravaging everything, and we should walk away with a W. Maybe we can 3-crown. I'm really hoping and praying for it. Play a little bit more aggressive, maybe getting the 3-crown with Minor Poison for the dub. I believe, boys. I'm going to go in for a log to kite everything further back. They're going for a log, maybe trying to hit Skeletons. I'm not sure. Maybe it was just a very aggressive play. And I'm going to go in for another Miner, and we should walk away with the W. We did not get the 3-crown that I really wanted, but this man was literally running a Hunter, so he's just trying to stop my Miner every single time. GG, well played, and peace out, Tiffany. Pleasure playing against you. All right, so we're gonna go for skeletons in the back and we're gonna see what's up. This guy's gonna go for a Skarmy. Skarmy most recently got buffed, so glad to see it back in action. I'm gonna go in for a Rogue Ghost in the right-hand lane. I'm gonna get ready and ready to go with a Miner. He's gonna Fireball that, so Fireballing the Rogue Ghost and the Ice Golem, that's some nice value. That is a five Elixir trade for him, but he didn't kill anything, so I don't know if it's worth it still. I'm gonna end up going for Bats and he's gonna zap it, but the Rogue Ghost is still alive. Do we get a hit on the tower? No, it does not end up hitting the tower does hit the Mega Minion, or the uh, Mini Pekka, but it does not hit what we wanted to. Definitely have to go for Skeletons, otherwise the Mini Pekka, you know, it would probably endeavor towards my tower, and I don't really want that to happen. Despite him not having Zap, just don't want to mess around with it, guys. I'd rather not play with Fire. So, what are we going to do? I feel like I can go for a Rogue Ghost in the back, and I feel like he's going to probably end up going for Mini Pekkas and save that for the Royal Ghost or the Miner. So go for a wizard. So I definitely just want to straight up poison that. There's no point in going for a miner. Just poisoning it is fine by me. So poison is a difficult card to cycle. It's obviously a spell. You don't really want to have the hand of miner, log, poison, and inferno tower when they have a giant on the field because you're like, oh, okay. Or not a giant on the field. They just cycle a wizard. You don't really want to have that type of hand. If the wizard's like close to your tower, you can't really like poison it because it's not going to kill it since you need a further duration. I don't know, man. The, the big thing is if you can cycle a spell with minor poison, because most of your chip damage is coming from minor poison, you need to cycle it and get that chip damage. So that's what I did there. I'm going to go in for another rogue ghost. I'm going to go in for a minor. And he's probably going to go for mini packa soon. He's going to go for another wizard. So I can just go in for another poison, as I said before. I love doing that. I also want to go for skeletons. So this is going to be an off meta play that you don't see very often. I'm going for skeletons and I'm going to go and follow up with bats. That was really weird, right? You didn't see me drop an Inferno Tower. Even though he had a Giant on the field, I made sure, hey, I'm going to bait out a Zap of Skeletons. That's a plus one trade. Then I translate defense and offense with Bats. The Inferno Tower would have stayed on my side of the map. I would be down Elixir, and I wouldn't be able to take out that tower. It's very, very important to get away with no Inferno Tower when you can actually make it work. So I don't drop my Inferno Tower in every single defense. In the defenses that I need to, I always drop my Inferno Tower. If I want to be safe, I will always drop my Inferno Tower. But if I want to get an Elixir advantage, get counter push potential, and win the game, a lot of times I don't drop my Inferno Tower. You will see the best minor poison players in the game always make that play. So I'm going to go in for another poison. I'm going to go in for an Ice Golem. I'm going to go supplement my push with the Royal Ghost. And I think we should be able to walk away with this victory despite this man having Mini Pekka. Mini Pekka is actually a very good counter to minor. So I'm glad we were able to walk away with this victory. Definitely not the easiest matchup for either of us. It's probably a 50-50 matchup. I'm gonna, wow, he's got Rage. Never mind. This guy's running an absurd deck. I felt like he had another spell, but he didn't. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. All right, we're going to go in for Ice Golem in the back, and we're going to see what's up. I'm going to go in for Bats here, and then I kind of want to go in for Royal Ghost opposite lane of that Ice Wizard. So Ice Wizard should die to my tower. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Holy crap. 
Ice Gold was not walking in the correct direction, and we got swerved a little bit. Ice Gold, he should have been a little bit slower. Just a tad bit, and we would have been chilling. So I'm going to end up going for a Miner. I kind of want to go in for Skeletons to go and pull the Royal, uh, the Royal Ghost and everything in the right-hand lane, hopefully. I'm going to go in for another Ice Golem to go pull the Inferno Dragon. I'm going to go for a Royal Ghost on top of his Royal Ghost, hopefully. And it looks like we're going to be able to defend for the Virginity, but that was... Uh, I don't know, it was a little bit sketchy. We pulled it out though. It's still fine, still fine, still vibing. So obviously he's got Graveyard, Graveyard with uh, Nato. He activated the King Tower already, so well played on his end. Well played, sir. I'm gonna go in for Bats here. I'm gonna go in for a Miner in the back, and then I wanna go in for a Skeleton Surround. So I think, oh, he didn't actually expect me to do that. That's interesting. He does Nato, does still suffer a lot of damage from the Miner. I'm about it. If I drop the Miner up close, guess what? Sure, the King Tower wouldn't have been hitting him, but he would have been able to NATO everything and then the Miner wouldn't have gotten any hits. He would have just been able to NATO like right here and that would have been horrible for me, man. So I stand by that play. That was really good for me. Also, really good again. I'm getting so much value. I'm going to get a lot of value with this Inferno Tower. It should be able to take out just about everything I want. Is that not going to take the Royal Ghost? It should kill the Royal Ghost now. I'm going to go for a Poison here, then uh, Royal Ghost dies and now the Bowler dies to it as well. Okay, so that's a very aggressive Electro Wizard. I don't know what he was trying to do there. I guess he thought that uh, I was dropping the Inferno Tower in the right or the wrong spot, but I don't do that. We play Minor Poison. I play Minor Poison a lot. We don't make those misplays, bro. Get out of here with those thoughts. Give me more respect, sir. Respect on my name. I end up going in for Skeletons right on top of that, and we're going to go in for another Minor. See if we can get some more damage because he doesn't actually have answers. He wasn't going to drop anything there. I'm going to go drop another Inferno Tower. I can actually poison on defense because that's a lot. That really is a lot, boys. Kind of want to go for a Royal Ghost here, and I would just want to go NATO, or uh, not NATO. I want to just go log everything back, go drop skeletons on top of the bowler and all that junk, and go drop bats right on top of the Inferno Dragon. As a result, we clean up everything. He doesn't do too much damage, and we're vibing ahead. I also want to go for an Ice Golem. The reason I'm going for an Ice Golem here is I want to apply aggression, and I want to make sure that we have a tank for that tower, guys. Look at that. Now, Miner gets so many more hits because it's going to be tanked for. And dang, he is going to be well below the threshold. All I got to do is cycle two more uh, logs and we got the game in the bag. So I'm going to start doing that already. I'm going to go in for the uh, bats right on top of the Inferno Dragon so he doesn't cross anything. I'm going to go for an inside miner yet again. He could nato that preemptively, but he is into uh, poison plus log range. Poison plus log is 300 exactly. Don't even need to, boys. I just needed one more poison. We got the game in the bag. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Inferno Towers are OP against people that do not drop their Electro Wizards in the right spot. You can't get an offensive Electro on me, man. Too good for that. Too slick. The Winter King, we're going to be saucing out of good luck against the Winter King. We're going to try to dethrone the Winter King. This is going to be quite the uh, interesting proposition for us to dethrone him. Definitely want to go for a Royal Ghost on defense here. See if we can fight on our side of the map. It looks like his Electro might get a hit. Are we going to hit it right before? All right, so it stunts. All right, he still gets some damage. His bandit will not end up getting a charge off on us. He goes in for a zap. So that means that our ice sphere, our skeletons, well, our bats and everything else will get a lot of value here. I kind of want to go in for skellies here so then the uh, bandit doesn't dash. And then also just making sure that we keep our ice golem alive. I'm going to go in for a miner. Bats are going to end up where the bandit is going to die and coupled with the minions are going to die. So he's definitely running some type of Pekka deck, right? That's something that would make sense. No, RG, all right. So RG is a deck that you can just drop Inferno Tower against and be fine. Inferno Tower is really, really good against that. So I'm going to go drop another sequence of Bats, Ice Golem, Rogue Ghost, and then Miner. Counter push potential is actually unparalleled. I don't know how he's going to defend this. He's going to go for a Bandit, but I think the Rogue Ghost gets on top. Because of how I did that, yeah, the Rogue Ghost actually got on top. That was really great. So I dropped the Miner in the back, so then the Bandit would go back, and then the Miner was able to get more damage that way. So Skeletons are off to the side, Bandit doesn't actually get any potential of damaging us. And we're in a prime position to win against this. This deck really does a great job at countering Royal Giant. Royal Giant came back into the meta after the buff, and this deck has no issues against it at all. So he's going to go for another Royal Ghost in the back. I can actually go and supplement my Royal Ghost with an Ice Golem and make sure that we fight this out. I don't really want to allow him to get away with that. Could poison that, but I think that the Ice Golem is actually going to aid our endeavors a little bit better than his. So, Rogue Ghost goes undercover. I can kite that off as Alina Skeletons if I really want to. Ooh, yikes. Alright, I guess that was bad. He's got Pekka Roll Giant. Alright, not something I was really expecting. I'm going to Inferno Tower here. 
Looks like I probably want to go in for an Ice Golem. I want to go in for Bats. I want to go in for Log. I want to go in for Sequence of Skellies here. I want to make sure that the Bandit doesn't get on top of anything important. And it looks like we separated all of our units out perfectly. He went in for a Zap, but now he doesn't have Zap in Cycle, so I feel like I can go in for another Miner. The Pekka is going to revolve around the other side, and then it's going to be drawn back. It's really going to be super slow. As long as the Miner gets a few hits, which it should, then we're going to be in a prime position to win this game. Definitely going to go in for a Furnitire Tire, just for cycling purposes. He goes in for an RG. I'm fine with that. We'll see what he wants to do. He does exactly that. So I'm going to go in for a Royal Ghost. I'm going to go in for Skeletons. I'm going to go in for an Ice Golem. Go for Bats. And then I also want to go for Poison, because it looks like he's just going to be stockpiling up a lot of crap. If we keep the Royal Giant, uh, if the Royal Giant's dead and he doesn't have anything to break through, then we're going to be in a great situation moving forward. I'm going to go in for another set of Skellies. I'm going to go for Ice Golem. I'm going to go in for Bats here. And it looks like he's playing super aggressive with all these units, but I think that if we go in for a uh, sequence of Skeletons, then there's not too much to worry about. I'm going to go in for another Miner. And Bats are still alive. He doesn't have Zap. He's going to go in for... A, yeah, he's just going to go in for a big Mama Pack. The Royal Ghost gets on top of the tower, I believe. Almost, but not quite. Okay. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in for Bats. Kind of want to go in for another... In front of the tower because it's going to be uh, saved on the map, right? I'm going to go for Ice Golem as well. Pekka's going to end up dying. If he goes in for a Zap, then he's not able to deal with the Skeletons. We trot back even further. I go in for a Miner. And then I can kind of just laugh at this Royal Giant because it's not really going to accomplish anything. So I can go in for a Log. I can go in for a Poison. And I can just cycle more Minor Poisons at this point because we have such a fast cycle. There's no way that he's actually going to be able to defend the Virginity for the rest of the game. Especially with cards like Royal Ghost. There's no way that it even like deflects any type of shots. So I can just cycle Poison and win the game. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. A very interesting deck, but we dethroned the winner king at the end of it, and he is a sad panda. We're just going to give him the peace out, Girl Scout. I'm going to go for a Rogue Ghost. I'm going to end up going in for a Miner, and I can go for a Poison if he drops more than just that. He's not really dropping too much. Mega Minion is not worth it yet. He's going to actually drop a Barb, so I will go in for a Poison. The Barb is going to be rendered useless. The Fire Spirits really won't get too much of a wave now because the Poison and the Mega Minion should end up dying to the tower before he does anything. So he's going to go and drop a sequence of Fire Spirits. I have to go in for an Ice Golem now. I can't actually incur 600, 700 damage for free. Really not about it. So we are going to be up a little bit against Diego. He's going to end up dropping guards in the back. I'm going to go for Skeletons. Pretty interesting composition so far. Haven't really been able to decipher what he's got in store for us. But it might be a, like a funky type of minor poison deck. Obviously, Furnace is really good against Royal Hogs, so I don't blame him for running that. But uh, pretty interesting. I'm going to go in for a minor. Going to give me more poison value now, but I'm not going to take it until I really see a lot. And that's a ton of poison value. He's going to drop a Barb inside of it. He's dropping an Electro Wizard. He's dropping Furnace inside of it because the Furnace is facing it this time. The Mega Minion is going to be rendered useless yet again. And the Barb is not going to actually get a hit on our tower because we poisoned it as well. Really like this. I'm going to go for Royal Ghost. Hopefully that hits. If it doesn't, then, you know, all right, that would be a sad panda moment. Sometimes the Royal Ghost, like, glitches out on Fire Spirits. I still haven't figured out why, but when it happens, it's super, super triggering, guys. Like, my Royal Ghost just has one job, and he's like, nah, fam, Jake, we don't got this. You need to pay more Elixir. I'm a four Elixir Royal Ghost. You did not invest enough in me. So, thankfully, he wasn't about that life today. He's very bipolar with me, but I'm fortunate that that did not happen today. I'm going to go in for Skeletons off to the side. I'm going to go for an Ice Golem. And I can go in for another Royal Ghost. I just want to play a little bit more aggressive here because I know he's down Elixir as well. He's going to drop Fire Spirits, which is not usually the wave. I mean, you can go and cycle them. Uh, I probably would have cycled them in the back, and then I would have dropped my guards. So that's one of the things that I see pretty commonly against Royal Ghost. Like, they're like, oh, I don't have a great answer to it. And <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not a great answer if you do it that way. I'm going to go for Inferno Tower on defense. He's going to go for the uh, Barbarian Barrel, which is a pretty interesting deck uh, combination, but... It's, it's really good with Royal Giant because all the units that your opponent drops on top of the Royal Giant are going to be killed by the Bar Barrel. Like, they can't drop things that are further away usually, right? This is going to be... Is it Lightning? What does he have? What is the... I think he's got Lightning. I really haven't given him the ability to contest me too much, though. Okay, so he's definitely going to Lightning again. I'm trying to... Oh, he's going to lock the Skellies? Well played, dude. Well played. Is he going to Lightning that? We'll see. Don't know if he has enough Elixir. Doesn't look like it anymore. Inferno Tower is still alive, so I'm going to go sauce out a Miner. I could poison everything. Is he going to drop something? Yes, let's go. You don't actually have to drop a preemptive Electro Wizard. You can wait and do a Reaction Electro Wizard, and it's going to be fine. It'll achieve the same result. So don't really understand that one, but I'm going to go for Skellies. I'm going to cycle back to a Miner pretty vigorously. I'm going to go for a Log. I'm going to go for Royal Ghost. 
all I gotta do is get one minor hit, go in for a poison and collect the W, or get a log on top of the tower. Doesn't really matter, he ends up connecting, but I go in for a log and I secure the W. GG, well played, and peace out brother, it was a pleasure playing against you Diego. RG is back in the meta, but this deck card counter is RG and we just don't care. Alright, so this guy's gonna cycle bats and he's gonna also cycle collectors, so this is probably gonna be giant three musketeers and there we go. So after seeing that, he's probably gonna go in for a goblin gang, so I'm gonna go for a pre-log and try to hit the goblin gang. Yes, let's go! To hit him dirty, boys, I knew. I knew the deck, I knew what he's gonna do, and we end up getting so much value. Having to sauce out an Inferno Tower here, I didn't really want to, but it is gonna be the play. Actually, no, the Ice Golem ended up killing the bats. I wouldn't have needed to do that. I could have just gone away with the simple skeletons, but live and learn, guys. We're gonna to try to bounce back in this game. We could have gotten more utility, but I guess the Inferno Tower is still on the map if he wants to go in for a battle ram push. We'll see what he wants to do, though. He's gonna end up going in for a skill hoard, and it's just gonna end up dying to the Inferno Tower. I can go in for a cycle of skeletons. I can also end up going in for... Oh my gosh, that's my dog. <laughs> what are you doing, Roddy? All right, I'm gonna go in for bats, and yeah, we're actually just gonna kill this tower. Holy crap. Roddy, come here. Come here. Oh my gosh. No, he's leaving. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Well, at least we're gonna take this W, guys. This has uh, been a pretty clean game so far. I'm gonna end up logging this back. I'm gonna go in for skeletons. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh my god, okay. Alright, well, that's interesting. We're gonna end up going in for another Rogue Ghost in the back. This dude is probably just gonna keep collecting up, but it doesn't really matter. I can just go in for a Miner here, and I can go in for Skellies. He's gonna go in for another Goblin Gang, but I can log that and also hit the Collector, so that's pretty solid for me. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like we just win this game. He's maybe gonna go for 3M in the middle or something, it just doesn't really matter. He's gonna go for Skill Horde. I can just go in for Rogue Ghost plus the uh, Poison and he doesn't break through. I go for a low Inferno Tower to pull the Giant as far as possible. I also go for Skeleton so none of the bats bypass and go towards anything. I'm gonna go for an Ice Golem to make sure that the bats go on top of that instead. He cycled a Zap already so then I can go for my own bats on defense. He's gonna have three Musketeers, he's gonna have Goblin Gang in the cycle, he's gonna have Collector and he's gonna have Zap. He splits his three Musketeers. So I'm very confident in my ability to just go in for a Rogue Ghost here. And then, uh, yeah, there's not too much you can do because I can just go for another Inferno Tower with 16 seconds remaining. Not very scared. I go in for Skeletons and Ice Golem on top of the Musketeer. And then I also go in for a sequence of Bats. And it looks like we just walk away with the W. This is a pretty clean game, as you guys saw. This deck does not lose against Giant 3M. You kind of you just uh, wipe the floor with them every single time if you just make sure they don't get an Elixir Advantage. GG, well played, and peace out, brother. Pleasure playing against you. All right, one second. I'm gonna go grab my dog. You guys want to see him? I don't think we've ever shown my dog. Okay. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? <laughs> he likes my ear a lot. Okay. <laughs> dog stream, yeah. Oh man, how's it going buddy? What you thinking? Yeah, so he could sit here for like a long time and he likes hitting me in the face too, okay. Apparently that's uh, that's his thing. Wanna go? He likes hanging his head like that apparently too. Yeah.